So you bought a Cardo Packed Hog Edge because the guy at Cycle Gear told you you can connect up to 15 riders up to a mile. It runs off the DMC Gen 2 network and it's freaking magnetic. And now you're here because you want to install it. Well, great. I hope you were doing good mentally, physically, and mechanically. If you're new here, my name is Osmantera. And today we're going to install the Cardo Edge Packed Hog on my City G Primo Strata 2. Bow, 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 bow. It's gonna be pretty much the same with most helmets. Um, some of the padding and placement for the speakers are a little bit different, but more or less it's all the same. I got the single because I don't have a boyfriend to give the other one to. All right, let's go. Packaging, 10 out of 10. There it is, your brand new Cardo. Stickers! That, this, that actually, might be helpful. And that. Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay, the meat and potatoes. This is going to be your speakers. This is going to be your two mounting option. The magnetic boy. Cable. Microphone. All right, for my helmet, I'm going to be taking off this side pad and this side pad. I think that's all we're gonna have to do, but I'm not completely sure. When doing this, make sure that you remember what pad went on what side. There is a little bit of a difference, but it just makes it a lot easier. Also, for Sedici, my old one didn't have these Velcro things, but this one does, so that's pretty cool. And this is what I wanted to show you. This thing right here is meant for your speaker. Both things are off, so now we have access. It's very important when you route these speakers that the shorter side goes to the side where the um, cardo is, and then the longer side's on the other one. So I'll show you right here. Look at that difference. In the case, you're gonna get two of these with two 3M stickies on the back. Nice. And that's where you will place it on your helmet for then the speaker to connect to, like that. They also give you these spacers, which is double Velcro, in case you need to basically push the speakers closer to you. I don't think I'll need to because my big ass head is already taken up enough room, but they give you that option. I'm gonna take my short side and Velcro it in right there. And then my long side. See how the shorter side is now gonna be perfect for when I actually mount the cardo on the left side. And with this, I'm just going to route this right behind, right here. Boom. In your kit, you'll also get this mic option or this one. The difference is that this is built for a open face helmet while this one is meant for your full face. For this next part, you can either do your mic first or the actual cardo. And because this is such a short um, length, I think I'm gonna put the cardo on first just so I make sure that I'm not mounting it in the wrong spot and end up not having enough space. Actual communication system, you have the option to mount it this way with a 3M super sticky backing plate, or you can use this clip. I'm gonna be going with this one. This one is very straightforward. You're just gonna basically clip it into the narrowest part of your helmet. On this side, there are actually a few little tabs you need to take off. That was honestly a little bit awkward to do at first, but once you get it in, it's just a snug fit. When placing it, I honestly think that you should just kind of glide it around and see where it's gonna fit most comfortable with the design of your helmet. Thankfully, the Sedici actually works pretty well just right here. And you wanna get it as closest to the trim as you can. They also provide you with two alcohol pads just to make sure you clean the surface before you do it. Taking the tape off. Don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. I'm so nervous, it's okay, it's okay. Right here. Give that a little 
gentle press of love. Trying to make sure I press this down as much as I can. Because I will be pissed if this thing flies off while I'm writing. Connect that. Connect your microphone and then your speaker. Then just put the pads in and then tuck up all the wiring. The hair has gone up because this other side where the cardo is has been difficult but honestly after a lot of like moving around um it's pretty simple but what i learned leave some slack right here because you'll be able to tuck it in easily holy shit you've made it this far after you have everything routed, try on the helmet and make sure you don't feel any of the connections or anything pressing into your head because that is not gonna be fun when you're riding. But you're not done yet. You need to take the cordo, this button, and this one right here. You're gonna hold them for about two seconds and that's what turns it on. You basically need to do a update when you first get it um, and then charge it and stuff like that, but then you're ready to go. This booklet right here is basically gonna tell you everything you need to know. Now you're ready to ride. I'm really happy I decided to do this on my own instead of let the uh, Cycle Gear boys do it. It's a little intimidating, but I'm really happy I did it on my own. I hope this video helped you or you at least had a good time watching it. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye!